Hello, and welcome to Legends Of. Today we will be looking at a legend of New Mexico, the legend of Uraca Mesa, the portal to hell. If you've ever been to Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico, odds are you have heard this legend before. But if you haven't, sit back, relax, and let me tell you about Uraca Mesa. Uraca Mesa towers 8,000 feet over the Philmont Scout Ranch. And due to large ore deposits in the mesa, compasses do not always work. Also, due to its history, many consider it to be haunted, or even a portal to hell. During the ancient times, the Anazazi lived in the area, and according to legend, a gateway to the underworld opened on the mesa. The local tribe in the area went to the mesa trying to fight off the evil spirits that were pouring out. It was then determined by the tribe shaman that the only way for them to save the world from these spirits was for the whole tribe to fight the spirits inside of the portal and allow the shaman to seal the portal from the outside. The tribe agreed, and while everyone else was inside the portal, the shaman sealed the portal, trapping the spirits and his own tribe in the underworld. He then crafted four cat totems that would stop the portal from reopening. It is said that if all four totems were to fall, the portal could reopen, bringing darkness and spirits across the land. This legend serves two purposes. One, it allows us to know where the cat totems came from. And two, it tries to describe the disappearance of the Anasazi people in the area. Uraca Mesa now sits on Philmont Scout Ranch, and many scouts who go up it experience creepy or unexplainable things. Some have reported the mesa is eerily quiet during their hikes, or seeing shadowy figures on the mesa. Some have even reported to see the spirit of the shaman, or another spirit who is often seen in a blue light. Although the Boy Scouts does not officially accept the legends of hauntings or the ancient tale, they still have set up no camps on the Mesa, and camping there is only allowed in the case of extreme circumstances. To this day, it is said the shaman still roams the Mesa, protecting it, but currently only two of the four totems still remain on the Mesa. And it's for the best, we hope that they never fall.